If you talk about absorption of X-rays, X-rays pass through any material. A part of the X-ray energy is absorbed by the material. If a beam of X-ray of intensity I passes through a length of dx of any material, its, increase, its intensity is decreased by di. The X-ray beam with a wavelength of I and less intense but harder X-ray beam with a di. More of the lower energy X-rays are absorbed here. More of the higher energy X-rays are absorbed here. The amount of absorbed intensity is nu into I into dx. When nu is the absorption coefficient. So di is equal to minus mu into I into dx. The discovery of X-rays, Schuster pointed out that X-rays behave as electromagnetic waves of wavelength much shorter than the visible light. So you are able to see the radio waves, the microwaves, infrared, this one is visible, this one is ultraviolet, this one is X-ray and this one is gamma ray. The wavelength of the X-rays by means of diffraction gratings which proved unsuccessful as the grating failed with the dispersed X-rays on account of their very small wavelength. You are able to see there is a radiation reflection happening on the diffraction grating. Your X-rays are reflecting. Further discussing, so I have shown the waves and the size of gamma ray is compared to your radio wave A's. The gamma ray is of your smallest of 10 power minus 12 atomic nuclei which is compared with a radio wave which is equal to a building. So your X-ray is of atom size, your ultraviolet is of molecule size, visible is a protozoans, infrared is kind of a pin, hey. And the microwave is of honeybee and your radio wave is big, it's really big. For the moving, Diffraction effects can only be absorbed if the spacing between the lines ruled on the grating. And it's of the order of magnitude of wavelength of the wave used. You are able to use, see the incident beam and this is a zeroth order beam. So incident beam angle is a theta L is equal to gamma alpha at gamma and your theta M is equal to zero. In order to diffract X-rays, grating with a much finer rulings. You are able to see the rulings. Which is having distance between rulings comparable to the wavelength of X-rays. It is impossible to construct a grating of such fine dimensions artificially. This is a multi-layer black reflecting course. You are able to see the diffraction grating with the gratings here. This is called grating. The input polychromatic beam, it came out as a diffraction order. This is nothing but your diffraction order. One beam coming out in a different order. This one is 0, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2, etc. It will reflect here on your Bragg reflecting course and you got your output monochromatic beam. So the input poly, the input polychromatic multicolor, now you got only one color. That's polychromatic to monochromatic beam. In a crystal, the atoms or molecules are arranged symmetrically in a three-dimensional space. Any plane containing an arrangement of atoms is known as lattice plane or cleavage plane. This is the crystal structure of sodium chloride, table salt. Here you are able to see the cleavage plane and here the cleavage, there is no possible shattering happen.
The spacing between the atoms is of the order of 10 power minus 10 meter. Comparable to the wavelength of X-rays. It was suggested that the regular arrangement of atoms or molecules in the cleavage plane of a crystal might provide a grating element suitable to diffract X-rays. The crystal might serve as a three-dimensional grating whereas optical grating is a two-dimensional one. Now you are able to see the X-rays are passed through the diffraction patterns. You got your electron density map and your atomic model is formed. Here you are able to see the X-ray passing through the crystals. You got your structure amplitudes. The phasing is done and your atomic model is identified. Over here, using electron cryo microscopy and image reconstruction, so the low dose electron beams are passed. Why are the biomonicles embedded in a vitrified ice? From there, the output is taken as a 2D projection in the electron micrograph and which determines orientation and origin of each particle and your 3D reconstruction in large molecule assemblies with conformational dynamics is formed. 